when we talk about stock markets that are investing stocks supply demand institutional trades retail traps and oof stock market seems to be very complicated right no worries that's why i'm here right so hi this is kens from million dots yes that is i that is what i used to say and that is all about me i'm a trader investor and an entrepreneur i'm the founder of million dots india's one and only virtual ecosystem for stock traders basically we find and we help people to find an edge in trading so when it comes to myself from a person who is just aware about spending money to a person who is financially literate and have taught 5000 plus people around uh, financial literacy and stock markets i have a journey the journey that made me to stand here in the dais of tedx and the whole journey curated into three realizations yes i have curated whole of this journey into three realizations or the tips that could also help you to become successful and i'm here to explain about that three realizations and how i actually ended up in these realizations realization number 1 which is about passion passion it happens like i used to take sessions for college students and all okay uh, for past one month ago uh, i was taking a session an online session with one of a colleges in gallicate so from the session one of the girl from the session she asked me about the passion she asked me that so how did you figure out your passion she asked how did you figure out stock trading as your passion so it's like actually how did i figure out my passion yes passion is something that you love and that you do and yes stock trading is my passion so actually how did i chose that passion i was totally confused and that time a glimpse of my flashback came to my mind i think the motivation or enthusiasm towards money was a seed that has been planted by my father i still remember during my 5th standard and 6th standard i would i used to learn 3 to 4 hours in a straight line to earn the 1 rupee that my dad used to give me and basically i was uh, motivated by money so on moving forward on 8th standard 9th standard etc uh, i started to flip things i started to flip uh, bikes i started to flip shoes shirts i started to flip cars you name it i was flipping that basically i knew money could do something to me and i knew when i had money i was able to do something that i'd love so i think that was the thought that actually motivated me and on moving forward uh, when i reached my colleges and all i opted for bsc computer science for my college because i wanted to be an ethical hacker and you know right the people of that age if at all they need to be something they'll never end up doing that the same way i am not an ethical hacker right now you might know and it is from college that i actually found and met my co-founder muzammil and during the first two years of my college itself i have done 15 plus businesses right from selling packed peanuts to setting up an ad agency we have won in some of the businesses we failed in some of the businesses we earned couple of bucks we lost couple of bucks but we were not able to pursue any of it for a long run basically we were not able to take it to the next step we are trying out a lot of things we are trying out a lot more things and this is the time where i actually got exposed to stock markets even though i knew about investing and stock markets before basically we have the common indian thought basically myself had the common indian thought so basically i still remember to one of my friend i asked dude we need to buy we need to be like warren buffett right so he said yes we need to be uh, an investor like warren buffett we have to work hard we have to earn a lot of salaries and then we have to make a big money and then we'll start investing so that was a common thought among indians and among myself as well that stock markets and investing is not a cup of tea it is for the warren buffets the hnis the high net worth individuals or the banks etc so during this time basically we got exposed to a couple of movies which actually said even common people can trade on stock markets so i was like okay is there anything like that i was surprised so basically i started to search about it and finally i discovered a thing i discovered some, something called trading account so actually it was like finding a fire for me that is it's a key right with the trading account i am open to the world of investing being a very common man so i was super excited uh, we started to learn a lot about it we referred with a lot of people we referred with a lot of online contents and now i realize 99% of the online contents which were available at that time was totally rubbish but we started to learn a lot we started to trade we started to uh, started to invest and all of that 
it was a really great game but that wasn't mature as well because meanwhile i was doing this i was doing multiple things as well so basically stock trading as well was a side thing i haven't uh, taken it as a mainstream and all of that because i never knew that it could be uh, into that stream and all so i started a couple of like i tried out a couple of businesses as well and doing a lot of other things at a point of time in my life actually necessity punched on my face and when i look back i was only left with one single skill which was trading and that necessity made me to take and to pursue trading basically to put the food on my table and that actually growed up as a passion and now when i look back i can understand passion is not something that you can find from an aptitude test or from an online website or anything of that sort passion is something that you can figure out only by doing a lot of things so the people i know i always say that to figure out your passion start doing a lot of things start doing multiple things and you will find that one thing that actually motivates you and that that actually earns you and that becomes your passion so that was the first realization in my life and on moving forward i had the second realizations you know you have to put your own things all together by yourself you cannot expect anyone because nobody owes you anything and you cannot complain for that so when i was on my third year college i was going for a uh, like a part time job on a retail store basically i was a shopkeeper there basically uh, i was a sales person there and on moving forward i received a job at tcs because that was a dream of a bsc computer science student but i have to reject it because i really love to pursue business and it was at that time the, the the owner of that particular shop that i was going for the part time job he asked me that are you ready to take over the shop because he needs some money so i arranged some of my friends as my partners and we joined and we started that like we we acquired that particular shop actually i was super comfortable at that particular time basically i woke up i'll open the shop i'll get in i'll watch some movies i'll uh, play some games i'll watch some 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 videos or something and when it comes to late evening i'll close the shop and i'll go home and this started to repeat day by day and i was earning something around 8000 10000 rupees a month uh, which wasn't a very great amount but because i was in a comfortable zone i was comfortable with the fund as well and meanwhile i was i have something else cooking because i was in love with a girl she was my classmate after the college she had uh, the marriage issues the marriage pressure so i had to talk about it and i was ready for the marriage as well Uh, because i have a shop right so i'll figure it out how to marriage and i'll anyhow i'll marry her that was that was my thought actually and at this point of time the pivot of my life happened i was ousted from the business i was back to zero nothing was left with me and I, when i look back i had i have nothing to do i was totally blank and i had a mental breakdown as well I wish I could not say this to my parents but I had to they were sad I was sad and I was not in a mental state to stay at Calicut which was my hometown I had to move on and I was a person who had a bunch of friends but actually nobody could help me as well so I was totally depressed I actually did didn't even know what to do so I was discussing this with one of my friend his name was Arjun so uh, he said that we'll move to Cochin and we'll stay there for some time and then we'll we'll figure it out so i was like okay i don't have money so what will be doing like he actually gave me an idea about that like what he, he what he does is that he lied to his father that he had a course at cochin so he bought some money with his father and we both lived to cochin and we rented out an apartment we started to stay there and even though i moved from calicut literally had nothing to do when i look back i had no skills left i had i have nothing else just other than trading and stock markets so i was actually forced to pursue stock market because i had to put food on my table and uh, at that point as, as well i tried to get help from someone else but i knew and i realized that i had to put my things together all by myself and at that point of time i had the right realization from my experience that it isn't a bad thing but i have to put my own things all together by myself that is nobody owes you anything and you cannot complain for that that was my second realization and on moving forward i had my third realization which is 
hard work is way different from work since i was in cochin i had to put time and i had to invest time in stock trading because that was the only skill that was left with me and i was a person i used to flex because i thought i was a hard working person during my college days and school days i used to flex that okay i am an a person and i used to earn something more than any other person could as well so i thought i was a hard working person till i reached cochin when i reached cochin straight six month i had to work hard believe it or not day and night i was working super hard on stock trading i have invested whole my time in it and even people around me was asking like why are you madly into this thing man you you like you'll you'll, you'll be, something will happen to you if at all you're madly doing this but i had no other options my myself was craving inside to grow i had to grow i had to put food on my table basic thing and i had to grow on that so i was super insecure as well during that time and that insecurity and necessity has pushed me so much and for the 6 month i was completely into learning and i know this 6 month of hard work nobody could have been acquired so much of knowledge because i am sure that the knowledge that i have acquired in the span of this 6 months for a common person it will take at least 3 years and finally i figured out an edge in stock trading and i started to trade with a very less amount and with the help of muzammil which was who is my co-founder we got a funding uh, we we just started to uh, trade for them and we got the commissions we got some money we came back to calicut we set up an office and we started to trade and people around me knew that okay i was a person who was broke and i'm doing something right now so they asked me about it and when i say that okay i am doing stock trading and all of that they were they they was asking me to teach them to do that so at that point of time we realized that okay there is an opportunity for a business there and we started the million dots and this million dots was born as kerala's first registered stock market training institute and now india's one and only virtual ecosystem for stock traders i'm proud for that because that was hard work and since i was a person who know the difference between work and hard work i have decided in my life that i will be hard working from that point to this particular point where i'm standing right now i am hard working and from now to the next 10 years until i die i will be working so hard because i know hard work is way different from work and it is worth it and this was another realization that i had in my life till this point of life i can curate my whole journey into these three tips and you know what these three tips can also be a blueprint for you to become successful there is accept yourself that you have to put your own things all by yourself together and you cannot expect anybody else to be doing that for you accept that and then try doing a lot of things when i say a lot of things literally try doing a lot of things and you will find that one thing which actually excites you which actually will earn you and work so hard on that one thing and i'm sure you will become great thank you